Hello, this is Matt from Firewalls.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to create local users and groups on your Sonic Wall. Creating local users is useful for smaller organizations with a limited user base. You can authenticate local users to the firewall for a number of reasons, such as management access, content filtering, and remote access. Local groups allow you to manage more than one local user to implement cleaner access restrictions for your firewall to a group of users. The first thing that we're going to do is jump into the firewall. We're going to scroll down to our users section. We're going to click on local users. We're then going to select add a user. For the first example, we're going to create a brand new administrative account. So we're going to have admin user. I'm going to just create a default password. Uh, you can select if you want the user to change their password when they first log into the firewall. Uh, you can specify an email address, but this is optional. And then you can click OK to create the user. Now, by default, the user will only be in the everyone group and the trusted users group. In order to make them an admin user, we need to go back into the user, click on groups, and select Sonic Wall Administrators. There are other built-in groups here that offer different functionalities, such as Limited Administrators, which is an administrator but more locked down, um, and then more groups here for like VPN access and content filter bypass. Um, but for this example, we're just going to add them to the Sonic Wall Administrators group. Now that we've done that, the admin user that we've just created will now be able to log into the Sonic Wall and be able to make changes and have full access to the administrative section of the Sonic Wall. I'm now going to create two more standard users that we're going to use to limit access. And a good way is if you have multiple users that you want to group into one section so that you can then do more simple firewall policies is to put them into a group. So we're going to create a custom group. We're going to call this the uh, limited access group. So this will be a group that we have profiles in that we want to restrict access. We are going to select our two users and then click OK. So now that we can use this group to authenticate our users to the firewall and then um, specify this group in specific services to restrict access for these users. Thanks again for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to more videos as part of our Essentials series over the coming weeks. Thanks.